Hello and welcome to the devotion today. Tomorrow is the 4th of July. And as an American who loves his country and as a Christian who puts God first, I thought this scripture would be good for us. First of all, then I urge that supplications, prayers, intercessions, and thanksgiving should be made for everyone, for kings and all who are in high positions, so that we may lead a quiet and peaceable life in all godliness and dignity. This is right and is acceptable in the sight of God our Savior, who desires everyone to be saved and to come to the knowledge of truth. Paul writes this because it is difficult to be a Christian in the Roman world in his time. And yet, he believes that God is still in control. And he believes that God does work through the leaders of his country back then. I believe the same today. And I believe that all Christians are called to pray for their government officials. It doesn't matter what political party you are or what political party they are. What matters is that we want our country to have peace. And we want our country to be able to be a place where everyone gets to hear the good news of Jesus and get to follow Jesus. During this time in particular, I pray for wisdom and insight and humility for all of our government leaders. Let us pray. Gracious God, we give thanks that you call us not to just pray for ourselves, but for all leaders. And in Paul's time, those leaders were people who were actually attacking Christians. Help us, Lord, to see how you move in our world today. And we pray especially for our president and for our governors that they would have wisdom, your wisdom, love, your love when it comes to making decisions that deal with the coronavirus and um, racism that exists in America. We ask for your guidance now and always. In Jesus' name, amen. Have a happy fourth, even as it is a different fourth than usual. God bless.